a special day at the Anderson household. It's Monday. It's the first day of the week and we're here to get Mason Thomas Anderson. There he is. There's Mason. Hello Mason. Can you wave to Grandpa? Mason, wave to Grandpa. Where's your mama? Where'd mama go? Okay. Went to work this morning? Yeah. And now you came to spend the day at Grandpa's house? Yeah. It's Tuesday, May 11th. And we're gonna have an adventure at Grandma and Grandpa's house. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna turn this off. Now we'll go inside. Every day, we watch the Wiggles. And Mason's deciding on what toys to bring out to play with today. Oh, Grandma's bringing a couple of special toys. Come on, Grandma, we gotta see the toys. I do not want to be in. This is one of Mason's favorite things to do is play with the cars. He's got a big parking garage here. Oh, should I put that on for you? Okay. You got his little parking garage and what do you have in your hand there, Mason? Where's Arsh? Show me Arsh. Where's your Arsh? Can you lift Arsh up? This is a little, little cloth rag there. Gotta hang on to Arsh. He's a good little guy. This is his other big plaything. This is Mason's room with all his toys. We kind of, kind of. Get all the toys in the corner. Last week he had the basket out. He had all the toys. We just scattered all over the front room floor. Sleepers waiting. A couple extra arches just in case. And the crib here. And we got toy storage underneath. All his trucks. There's fish. And then he's got his little corner with all his little playmates here. Got Tinky Winky and Poe and Curious George, Clifford the dog, Lammy. Oh, and there's Fancy. Hey, Fancy. Fancy lives with Mason and she comes here along with Rowdy. And there's Barney. A couple Barney dolls there. You got all kinds of fun stuff. We gotta go find Rowdy. This is Mason's other favorite toy. We got balloons and trains and cars, and he tells us those colors. And he's kind of watching the wiggles, and he'll play with his special toy. This is this here is Rowdy. Rowdy comes with Mason too every day. Rowdy was just out in the backyard. Now he just got done eating some dry dog food. And he likes it in the backyard. But if no one's out here with him, then he won't stay too long. Should we go inside, Rowdy? Okay. He likes wiggles. Mason likes the wiggles. They go all day long. Murray, yeah, Murray. The short gates. Yeah. Come on, dance. They're closer to him, Grandma. What are your colors? Can you tell me the colors? Blue, yes. Do you have a red one there? Red, yeah. Red. What color is that? Purple. Purple, yes. Whoosh. 
What color was that? Uh huh. And this one's what? What color is that? What color is that, Mason? Yellow. Hey, a rowdy, good boy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fantastic. I like that one. Oh, please, no. What was colored? The cage. Go, Missy, go in the cage. Go. Go in the cage. Go in the Missy, cage. Missy, go in the cage with Mason. Oh. Go in the cage, Missy. In the cage, Missy. Missy, come here. Go. Go in the cage, Missy. Mm -hmm. Buddy, you might as well close that door. Yeah, well, that's I'll just go by, please. Well, he's going to close it. Missy, come by Mason. Oh, Missy is Mason's friend. And he's sitting in the cage so nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, kissy. Missy. Missy. Oh, Missy, what's come up? I can go room. Go over there and do it. Back up there, right there. Do the snake. Do the wombat crawl. Mason. First do the crawl. Do the bear. Back up. Back way up. Let me see you dance to this. His name is Henry the Octopus. Playing on the ocean set. Sing you all the song. I'd like you to sing along. Sing along. Everybody. God. Henry the Octopus. God. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we are. It's Thursday and we have a new puppy that's come to Grandma's house. Uh, Grandma, could you uh, 
let the puppies out of the cage and see what what do we have here they've been taking a nap oh look rowdy come here rowdy grandpa come here rowdy come here. who is in their cage it's missy and mason and rowdy's coming for a visit close it yeah. Oh, right. they're going to go back to sleep again. Grandma's got to close it up. You started something. It's time to take a nap. And here's the happy grandma. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> night, <laughs> night, 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 Missy. What are you doing in there with Missy? What are you guys doing? Missy. Are you petting Missy? Are you going to take a nap? What are you going to do? Oh, it's real quiet. I think they're sleeping. I think they're sleeping. I'm not sure. Where is that little boy and his dog? He's calling for his mama. The puppy's calling for his mama. Where is his mama? Mama. Where did mama go? Work. Work. Where did daddy go? Work. Work. Are you ready to come out? No. <laughs> what? You want to stay in the cage? Yeah. Yeah. Can we uncover you so we can see you? Yeah. Can we okay. Have, can I ask him to the YMCA? No. I'd like to take him. Okay, he's going to cover him. There they are. They're still up from their nap. They're up from their nap. Are you going to come out and play now? Yeah. Okay. Would you let the little boy and his dog out? Thank no you. Way. What? Don't you want to come out and play? I You're staying in the cage? Yeah. All right. Sun's out. It's getting nice. Oh, Missy says I'm getting tired of playing in a cage. How long are you going to stay in there? Are you in a cage because you're a bad boy? No. Or you just like to play in there? No way. Do you like to play in the cage? Yeah. Yeah. So you're a good boy. Good morning, Jim. You are a good boy, aren't you? Mommy, mommy. <laughs> Mommy's at work. Mommy. Yeah, daddy's at work, and now they're going to see this film. They're going to know where Mason spends his day at Grandma and Grandpa's in a cage with a dog. With no food and no water. Well, this is your reporter signing off. This is going to be taken to Channel 4. WGMJ is an example of grandma's cruelty toward children and animals. Give signing off. This is Tom Anderson in South Milwaukee for WTMJ oh TV. <laughs> He's laying in the cage. <laughs> it's now... Four o'clock. He's been in there for six hours. Six hours with no food, no water. And we're going to talk to his uh, grandmother and see why she is punishing him so severely. Uh, Grandma Anderson? Yes. Why have you punished this boy and forced him in a cage for six hours without food or water? He's being punished because you're too big for the cage. He's taking your place. Oh, well, what a good boy. Yes. Don't smile, you may crack your face. <laughs> Turn that. He, as you can see, he's in such a weakened condition, he's laying flat on the ground. He cannot even stand up any longer, keeping in this cramped quarters. Probably Iraqis and Afghani prisoners have better treatment. Poor Misty. Okay, that's it. I'm going to sign off now. I'll come back tomorrow. We'll see if he gets out of the cage by tomorrow.